आज आम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटिर प्रिभियास इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर सल्व कर भिडिओ तो पार्ट थ्री हम और इतना दिया इन एट्टीन एट्टी फाइव ए सुडिश स्कूल टीचार अबजार्व ए सीरीज अब स्पेक्ट्रल लाइन इन दिजिबल रिजन अब हाइड्रोजेन स्पेक्ट्राम नेम द स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज इफ आर देट इज द रिडवार्क कन्स्टेन्ट इज वन पॉइंट जिरो नाइन सेभेन इंटू टेन टू पार माइनास सेभेन पार मिटार मिटार इन भार्स एंड वन वन बै टू स्कुर माइनास वन बै थ्री स्कुर इज इकुअल टू जिरो पॉइंट वन थ्री एट देन कैलकुलेट देव लेंथ अफ इज आलफा लाइन द नेम अफ दिरीज द नेम अफ द स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज देट लाइज इन दिजिबल रिजन अफ हाइड्रोजेन स्पेक्ट्राम इज द बलमार सीरीज एंड टेकिंग एन इज इकुअल टू थ्री वन कैन अबटेन द वेभ लेंथ अफ इज आलफा टू वि वन बै लेमदा इज इकुअल टू आर माल्टिप्लाइड बै वन बै टू स्कुर माइनास वन बै थ्री स्कुर देट इज फर द बलमार सीरीज देन द भेलू प्लेसिंग द भेलू अफ आर हुईच इज वन पॉइंट जिरो नाइन सेभेन इंटू टेन टू पार माइनास सेभेन पार मिटार इन भार्स उ गेट उ कैन कैलकुलेट द भेलू अफ वेभ लेंथ देट इज लेमदा is equal to 656.3 nanometer or 1 by lambda is equal to 1.522 into 10 to power minus 10 to power 6 meter inverse or we can obtain lambda is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to 1 by 1.522 into 10 to power minus 6 and we can obtain the value of lambda to be 656.3 nanometer. Next question is yes, a difference of 2.3 electron volts separates two energy levels in an atom. What is the frequency emitted when the atom make transition from the upper level to the lower level? So we know E is equal to S nu or nu is equal to E by S or placing the value of E that is 2.3 multiplied with the electron that is charge of the electron that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 <laughs> divided by 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 or we can obtain the frequency to be 5.656 into 10 to the power 14 hertz so this is the frequency which is emitted when it, when an atom make transition from the upper level to the lower level Next, we have uh, write the complete expression of conversion of 32p15 to S due to beta decay and 22Na11 to neon to Na due to beta plus decay. So, we get beta negative decay to be this and beta positive decay that is we get this. With the emission of entry neutrino in the beta decay, beta negative decay, and beta positive decay, we have the emission of uh, emission of neutrino, and in beta positive decay, we have the emission of an uh, of a positron, and in beta negative decay, we have an emission of electron. So we obtain this. Next, we have explained in brief. How the positive charged proton reside unitedly within the nucleus? The proton reside unitedly within the nucleus by a short range nuclear force. Okay, they reside within the nucleus by a short range nuclear force. Next question we have when silicon is dropped with boron, what is the type of resulting semiconductor? Will it possess an overall charge neutrality? Will it possess an overall charge neutrality? Under what condition Ne into N is is equal to N i square? So we have when silicon is dubbed with a trivalent impurity like boron, then it forms a P type semiconductor. And yes, it will possess an overall charge neutrality. And when the semiconductor is in thermal equilibrium, then we have n e into n is is equal to n i square hope you like the video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching